What's going on, y'all? Evan you 7 here back with another video. And today we're going to be unboxing the Entei figurine. I'm actually really excited about this box. And we're going to open it. Let's go. So here we have the Entei. Honestly, Jazzwares did an amazing job on the Entei. It's very detailed. Um, I love the articulation of it. I'm a huge Pokemon 3, uh, a, a huge Pokemon 3 fan. That's one of my favorite movies. That's actually my favorite Pokemon movie of all time. Also, because Charizard's in it. Anyway, I love the detail of how they gave the Entei. It reminds me of back in the day when they made the Tomy figurines. And of course, uh, I know they did the Jack Pacific versions of it for Pokemon Battle Frontier. But Jazzware really put some effort into it. I love the little clown is I guess the clown is back. And how uh, you can open up his mouth. And I just you know you get a stance with it too because you're able to use it. You're able to put it on there and it looks pretty good. I mean you kinda could just do the pose of him running through the forest and stuff. Um but when I think of Entei I think about the Pokemon 3 Entei which I I mean, honestly, the real intake would be living in the forest or in the volcano area from what I saw in the movie. The palms are pretty good. His, his mouth opens up and you're able to adjust it. Um, It's very majestic. He's such a majestic Pokemon as well. All right, so here I have the Entei and Suicune right next to each other. I just need to get the Raikou and I have all three legendary dogs, but... Having Suicune right next to Entei was pretty cool. It was very nostalgic because you have Pokemon 3 and Pokemon 4 forever in that sense. But the details of it is just, is just really good. Like, I never thought the day would come where the Pokemon company would be like, well, Jazzwares would do something like this. Now here, I have to do another comparison. Entei and Charizard, obviously, like I say, going back to Pokemon 3, the movie, um, you know, I love that battle. One of the best battles of all time. But you could kind of see the height difference. Obviously, Charizard is 5'7", and Entei is 6'3". Yeah, I'm dedicated. But, you know, of course, I had to add the little ash to it as well. Like I say, that nostalgia kicks in. But I do enjoy the comparison of it. I mean, they're all pretty decent sizes based on their actual height. Because Entei is pretty tall. I mean, 6'3 is tall in general. And of course, I don't know if you guys know, but I do collect the Figma Pokemon figurines as well. So I had to get red and put red right next to it. Obviously, it's the counterpart of Ash. Height's pretty, I mean, obviously, Entei's a lot bigger in the Pokemon world. But just for the collectible size, if you're trying to pose battle scenes or use certain characters for certain moments, um, you know, to, to pose for your collection, then yeah, this is a pretty good size. And honestly, it's not that bad. Well, that is it for the NT review. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. I, I really love this figurine. I recommend you guys getting it. I knew people were looking forward to it when it came out. But anyway, I have to get going. I'm Evan U7. Have a great day. And remember, the Lord loves you. Bye.